Namaste beautiful yogis, welcome to Ali Kamanova Yoga. I'm Ali and today we're doing fat burning yoga for beginners. So let's flow with strength and ease. shoulders back and down pull the belly in let it go so now I'm letting it go letting it all flop out now I'm pulling the abdominal wall in and extending the tailbone just ever so slightly down no over tucking you want to have beautiful strong posture so you know you're breathing properly when you breathe properly you're burning fat Starting with this posture, open the chest, widen the space between the collarbones, lift to the crown of the head, walk out of this class taller, and that would already give you that toned muscle, postural alignment. Taking a few nice deep breaths, feeling the core, connecting. So you're pulling the two sides of the abdominals, the TVA in towards the midline and you're pulling the belly button in and slightly up. So we're not sucking the belly in, none of this. Which creates a lot of tension in the chest, but rather find the strength in your firm abdominal wall. And that will, Translate into your day, you're gonna walk around like this. Inhale the hands over the head again with the same postural awareness. Press your left outer edge of the left foot down into the floor and reach over to your right, away from the outer edge of the left foot. Lengthen. Yummy, back to center. Press the outer edge of the right foot down, reach over to the left, look up. Back to center, one more. Back to center, one more. Back to center. Exhale the hands over the heart, big breath in, reach over the head. Exhale, diving forward halfway down, bend the knees and bring your hands onto your legs or shin bones. Lengthen through the crown of the head, pull the belly in. Bend the knees a little more and let your chest hang over your legs. Shake your head, look over to the left and right. Great, look ahead of you and place your hands on the ground, plank. Knees on the ground and we're gonna do a chaturanga. So elbows stay over the wrist. You can cross your feet if you want to and bring your chest shoulders forward. That's a chaturanga. Lower down onto the belly. Inhale, cobra, squeeze your elbows into your rib cage and really squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Lengthen through the crown of the head. Extend the tailbone down. Do not straighten your arms here. Chin parallel to the floor, look over all the way to the right, all the way to the left, back to center, exhale, child's pose. <laughs> Inhale, tuck the toes under, down dog. Inhale, the right leg up. Step it through, walk it through, bring it through, whatever works for you until you get it. You get the foot between the hands. Keep the left hand on the floor, take the right arm up, twists. They're one of the most powerful, fat burning, metabolism increasing, digestion improving poses. Reach over the head towards the front of the room and really spin that rib cage up towards the ceiling keep the back heel straight up exhale both hands down power up the back leg push into that back heel power up the leg straighten the back come up 
high lunge. Open the arms out, spin, twist to your right, take the right hand down the left leg and bring the left arm up, look up. A little more of a twist here, great. Exhale, left hand on the floor, roll onto the other edge of both feet and you can bring the right foot in front of you. Right arm up, lift your hips up. So nothing is sagging here. Adjust how much weight you're putting on your leg. The more the weight is between the left leg and the hand, the more you're firing up the abdominals. So as you get better at this, lift your heel off the floor, walk your foot away up until you're stuck, your feet on top of each other or you crisscross them. Very good, plank, pull the belly in, flat back, knees on the ground, chaturanga. So we're building strength, which is what really burns fat during the rest of the day. So reach forward, shoulders forward, lower down, elbows in, cobra, exhale. Child's pose. Down dog, take the toes under, lift the tailbone high. Inhale the left leg up, step it through, walk it through, bring it through. Right hand down, left arm up, keep the back heel up and Feel the belly activating, reach over the head towards the front of the room, turn the palm of the hand down and feel your shoulders stacking on top of each other. So we're bringing the left shoulder over the right shoulder. Now pay attention to how much weight you're putting onto the right hand. Are you collapsing completely here and the legs are just barely working or are the legs working and the hand is just helping a little bit? Be aware of your alignment. Great, release it down. Fire up the legs, press into the back heel, straighten the back, come up. High lunge. When we work on the legs, we're always increasing the fat burning potential of the body because we're working on large muscle groups. Twist to the left and reach with the right hand up. Look up, lengthen, relax the shoulders, smile, and exhale the right hand down, roll onto the outer edges of your feet, bring your left foot about halfway back in the center of the mat, lift the hips, hips lining on top of each other, shoulders on top of each other, wrist underneath the shoulder, Drop the shoulder blades into the back. And see the level you can take this at. Maybe not today, maybe two months down the line, maybe two years, maybe never. Progress is not really the core of the practice or the goal of the practice. The practice itself is the goal. Progress is just a sight effect. Exhale, both hands on the floor. Plank. Bring the knees down. And the chaturanga. Be strong. And exhale. Onto your belly. Lift your legs off the floor and hands off the floor. Squeeze the elbows in. Massaging the belly here. Exhale the hands behind. If you can clasp, clasp, otherwise just reach back and lift. Massaging the abdominal wall. Exhale, hands on the floor. Child's pose. Breathe.
Und let's come on to all fours. Activating the core. Pull the navel in. Level the hips and try to keep them level throughout the entire exercise or pose. Now we're going to take the right leg back, level the hip. So if you're opening the right hip up, level it, spin the right hip in and down and keeping that alignment, take the left hand up. Now this requires you activating the core muscles, elongating here, pressing through the heel, reaching through the fingertips. And let's bring the knee to the elbow. One, two, three. Hand on the floor and we're going to bring the knee to the elbow. One, two, squeeze, three. Very good. Lower it back down, realign, find, find strength, find your alignment. Take the other leg up, level the hips, spin the left hip down, pull the belly in, fire, the, fire up the core, take the right arm up and forward, reach. So the fingertips are reaching away from the heel. Let's go. Knee to elbow, one, really lengthen. Two, three, lower down and let's bring knee to elbow, one, two, three, and release. Here we're going to keep the knees where they are, hips over the knees, walk your hands to the front of the mat, and sit back without removing the hands from where they are. So you're gonna sit just halfway back, you can lay your forehead on the floor, and stretch through the back great now we're facing dog and let's take the right leg up step it through or bring it through drop the back heel down and come up straight into warrior two so warrior two now Look down, make sure that the right knee is pointing in the same direction that the toes are pointed at, which is directly forward. Spin open the left hip, feel the arch of the left foot activating. Let's turn the right hand up, reach up and over the head, really lengthening through the fingertips. Keep the knee bent, keep it bent. Great, coming out of this. Exhale, right hand over the right knee, left arm up, drop the shoulders away from the ears, lengthen through the crown of the head. Reach over the head. All these side bends and side ridges are amazing for toning the midsection. Exhale, both hands down on the floor. And we're going to bring the right knee into the chest, step it back into the chest, step it back, same knee. Three, four, five, lower down onto your knees, chaturanga. And this time upward facing dog, knees off the floor, and exhale down dog. Downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Lifting through the tailbone. Inhale the left leg up. And step it through. Drop the back heel down and take directly warrior two. Making sure that your knees Point it forward, opening the right hip, soften the shoulders, smile, turn the left palm up, reach up and over the head, lengthen, find a lot of length here. 
Keep bending the knee. And exhale, coming out. Lengthen and lower the elbow over the knee, over the thigh. Right arm reaching up, both sides of the torso opening, activating the arch on the right foot. Reach over the head here and feel this action opening the entire right side of your body. Yummy. This is a delicious yoga move. Relax the shoulders. Exhale, both hands down. And let's do five knee tucks. So bring the knee into the chest and back. Two, three, four, five. Lower the knees on the ground. And come on to all fours. Cat cow. Round the back. Pull the belly in. Look towards your navel. Inhale. Look up. Arch the back. Exhale. Rounding. Inhale. Arching. Exhale. Rounding. Inhale. Arching. And back to neutral. Let's take the right hand, palm of the hand, facing up, glide it under, across from your body, back of the neck, on the floor, back of the shoulder, on the floor, back of the head, aiming to be on the floor, but that happens over time as we deepen our twists. Inhale, coming out, opposite side. this back to all fours exhale child's pose breathe And let's reach forward, take downward facing dog, pull the belly in and up, lifting, inhale the right leg up, step it through and come up high lunge, reaching over the head, lower the knee down, one, two, three, four, five, high lunge. Hands in prayer, and let's bring the left elbow on the outside of the right knee. Look over the right shoulder, lengthen through the crown of the head. Press the back heel away from you. Let your belly yield into this twist. And inhale, coming out of this. Drop the back knee down and reach back. Open the chest, vibrant. Exhale down, step it back onto the knees. Chaturanga and lower down. Cobra, lengthen and straight into downward facing dog. Left leg comes up, step it through. Press the back heel away from you, high lunge. Hands in prayer. Lengthen first, then twist. 
open the chest drop the shoulders down keep pressing the back heel straight up and away from you use your elbow to deepen this twist exhale and feel your core firing up turning on inhale coming up and we're going to lower the knee and come back up two three four five great lower the back knee down open the chest up towards the ceiling stretching the entire right hip flexor and right side of the body great exhale down and you know it chaturanga upward dog and come into a seated you can cross your feet in front of you or find a seated pose however it's easy for you bring your feet in front of you you can remove the fleshy part from your sit bones back of the thigh inhale reach that lengthens or deepens your forward bend a little bit and and i know when you're new to yoga it seems a little odd but just wait <laughs> there is more odd things than this and <laughs> this is just the beginning and lower down into a forward bend but all of it feels good aligns your body brings you closer to understanding your body developing deeper body awareness no shame i feel that a lot of what holds people back is unconscious unrecognized body shame and not for a particular reason just something that originated in the childhood or past so in yoga part of the benefit is liberating ourselves from patterns that are locked in the tissues of the body such as shame and holding ourselves in a certain way and finding things about the body that are embarrassing or shameful instead of feeling freedom and appreciation and love for the body which is hosting our soul great inhale coming up let's finish off on a strong note here hands behind you fingertips pointed towards your feet lift this is reverse plank lift your booty lift 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 firing up the posterior chain of the body lift 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 all right good lower down bend the right knee right foot on the outside of the left knee lift the left arm up and twist here look behind you one more twist and coming out of this opposite side reach and exhale twist keep the chin parallel to the floor this is a face yoga exercise that can really soften your features so look behind you as far as you can and smile it releases the neck muscles and the tension in the neck face inhale forward soles of the feet together and you can lower one side then the other then bring one hand onto the thigh then the other let's open the legs wide walk your hands in front of you shoulders down flex your feet pull the toes back in come back up and reach side to side lengthening stimulating the obliques this pose is very fat burning even though it's not very difficult shoulders down chest open and we're gonna do one more twist so heels are gonna stay on the floor bow hip width apart a little wider from here take your hands behind you to the right 
all the way to the right, lift your left hip off the floor and lower your head down. Chiropractic self-adjustment, opposite side, heel stay down. Feel the joy and bliss of this. Coming back up and what is fat burning without plow? Nothing. <laughs> so lower down. Now, if you personally cannot do plow, you have neck issues, you can do half plow. So you're gonna bring your booty or your hips into your hands and stay here. Or you can just do bridge, which also stimulates the thyroid and improves metabolism and general hormonal health. So bridge could be your alternative to plow, otherwise lift your legs up and over the head and you can clasp your hands or keep your hands on your lower back and breathe here. This is excellent for scoliosis or spinal issues. It's a very calming pose. It allows you to really relax actually um, after the class. Breathe. And let's bring the hands onto the lower back and straighten either halfway or all the way into shoulder stand. Feel the width, feel the back of your neck white and soften your throat. So here, relax the throat, soften. This is great for the heart, great for circulation and overall a very beneficial pose. If you can do it, absolutely do it. One of the most important poses, but I can say that about at least 20 poses. <laughs> and lower down. Slowly lower down, very slow. And we're gonna go for slow bicycles. One knee bent at the time, elbow to knee, open the chest, drop the shoulders down, change, change, pull the belly in, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, bend the knees here and reach forward and exhale. Through the mouth, and again, pull the belly in, and again, great. Here, either stay in the same pose or straighten the legs, and again, the same. Release. Feet on the floor, hip width apart, lift the hips, bridge, lifting. And let's do a few pelvic tilts. So now you're scooping your lower belly in and activating Mula Bandha, which is the root chakra, root lock, uh, Kegel muscle, squeezing the pelvic floor basically and for men and women and pelvic tilt pelvic floor or perineum or if you can't connect exactly where the perineum is or the kegels then squeeze if you if you're as if you're trying not to pee a similar action a little different but will do it will strengthen your bladder and all the lower abdominal muscles and in general, your pelvic alignment, pelvic floor strength. A few more pelvic tilts, so the tailbone is lifting off the floor and up, and the lower back is flattening on the ground. And again, lift the tailbone, pull the belly in. And again, lift the tailbone, pull the belly in. 
a few more very good for women and men for, for men it's for prostate or and it prevents or can potentially help you deal with hernias and for women after babies and just in general with old age the pelvic floor weakens the bladder weakens so this is a very very important pose and it strengthens the lower abdominals which is great because most people want to lose fat in the lower abs all right great let's roll onto our site come up to see it and thank you so much for joining me today it was a pleasure to share this time with you i will see you either tomorrow or with our next class and remember to flow with strength and ease namaste